Hello everyone, welcome to Coed Stunt School. Here I'll be teaching you how to throw coed stunts. Today we will be continuing our series on basic stunts. The next step after the toss drill and toss chair is the toss hands. To throw a toss hands, you must first use the same technique that we learned in the toss drill, except throwing even harder. For the base, after flicking, you will wait for your flyer's feet to come up to you. As you spot the feet, you want to grab them like you see here. It is important to have one or two fingers on the heels to make sure that your flyer doesn't fall backwards. After catching the feet, you will want to resist your flyer's descent as she settles. Make sure to have soft knees to help you absorb. If you need it, you can actually bend your knees into a slight squat to get under the flyer's feet as you are learning. After catching, it is your job to balance the stunt. This isn't a hard thing to do after you get used to it, but as you learn, a good thing to keep in mind is small adjustments go a long way. When popping off, you'll want a good dip from your legs and an aggressive shrug to let your flyer get a high pop off and you will catch their hips and resist like you did in the toss drill. For the flyer, after doing your same technique as the toss drill but with more power and flicking more aggressively, you'll want to lift up. You'll want to roll your hips under you and pull your shoulders back. It is imperative that you allow your base to balance you. Any situation where both people are trying to balance can lead to bad falls. Whether you hit a high V is usually dependent on whether you press to another skill. We will teach these in our next video. When popping off, you will want to lift cleaning at the top, leaning back slightly and catching yourself like in the previous stunts. For the toss extension, the base will do almost everything the same except throw harder and alter their catch slightly. After throwing, you will want to drop down into a slightly squatted position and extend your arms to catch at the top. When popping off, you will want to use only your legs to generate your force. For the flyer, you will do everything the same as previously, but with more power in the toss, and you will always hit a high V when you land. As safety is our top priority, you should always have a spotter when learning any new skill. This is someone who will help the base catch the flyer if anything goes wrong. You should always have a spotter on any basic skill until you can do that skill without any risk of a bad fall. For any feedback, it can be very helpful to attend a stunt class at a local gym, attend a stunt clinic for any co-ed team, or do stunt privates with anyone local with some decent experience with co-ed stunting. If none of these are an option for you, we would be happy to try and give you some feedback. Just send us a video of your stunting here on YouTube or at our Instagram page at Coed Stunt School. If you like today's video and want to see more videos on learning how to stunt, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell. And always remember to hit your stunts.